if you are not using the credit card method the only method i will explain to you now which is the best you should use is welcome back to our youtube channel and thank you so much for joining the channel today if you are new to the channel please do not forget subscribe below here and support the movement thank you so much for understanding so today's video i want to talk about uh, something that a lot of people have been asking me lately and this is uh, about the proof of funds what they are going to show to the embassy to show that they have uh, enough resources to take care of themselves applicants or let me say uh, followers on this platform has been asking me so if you intend to apply for a study visa or a work visa to poland this is a video you should watch and remember on youtube if you go to youtube and type proof of funds to study in poland or proof of funds for poland you are going to find my videos i did one year ago all right so those videos are going to guide you on how the money is distributed and some of the things that are available but now there is an update with regards to those videos and i want to be explaining this to you in this particular video so you understand because i know a lot of you have been asking me for admissions in polish universities the videos will come up very soon guys right now i'm focused on admissions to canada all right so um anyways let me leave that for another video so proof of funds to study in poland it is somehow different as compared to those videos i did um some time ago now if you want to study in poland or if you want to get a study visa to any european country not just poland it is very important for you to strategize and plan your budget very well because most embassies for them to give you a visa they must see that you have enough money to take care of yourself all right nobody nobody i repeat nobody don't want liabilities is in his or her own country so the polish embassy is rejecting a lot of people especially the embassy in abuja which has problems with dates but i don't really know however the, if you want to apply you have to apply using the polish embassy in abuja most africans use it or you use the vfs in istanbul in turkey or you go to other countries and apply for so i will be giving you information on updates of some of the things then i will in fact i will tell you how how much you need in both currencies in the us dollars in euros in naira in cfa then i would equally tell you some of the documents you need i will tell you some of the supporting documents you need in order for you to apply for your polish visa not with the documents but by the way the documents to support your proof of funds all right because the very first thing i would like to draw your attention is is you should choose two methods and these two methods is make sure you use a credit card all right and uh, not all banks in africa use credit cards um but i think you should check first bank first bank in nigeria can give you a credit card and of course access bank can give you a credit card all right if you are using the credit card method okay but if you are not using the credit card method the only method i will explain to you now which is the best you should use i would suggest that you use this one first if you use any other method a part of this method and uh, probably the credit card method you will not get a study visa to poland guys i'm just being frank here because i want you all to understand let us all move with the same energy all right this channel is about teaching us and if i know something i teach it out so that a lot of people should learn now for you to apply for the polish student visa because the student visa the way the funds are distributed it's in such a way they put it according to days there is a particular amount you need if you just need if you are just going to spend maybe one to four days in poland there is another amount if you are going to spend more than four days let's assume you want to go with a study visa which means that that is more than four days now first for you to get to the level of the visa application you need to apply to a polish universities most universities are already open some will be opening very soon all right i'll be bringing videos about those that are open very soon so please stay connected please subscribe and if you didn't know my name is milton Fonkwa. again like i said there are documents you need in order to apply to poland if you have your yx certificate you must go you can go for a bachelor's degree if you have your bsc certificate and the transcript you can go for a master's again if you have other documents like maybe your ielts that is an extra advantage because most universities will request for that but you don't really necessarily need that for 
for Poland when you are applying for admissions to a Polish university. Now, let's go to the crux of the matter, the proof of funds to study in Poland. So according to the VFS Global Headquarters, all right, in a particular, I will not mention that, please, but know that this is very okay, all right? I have verified this very well. I don't want to give you the source because it will not make a lot of sense, but take this from me and take this, all right? Everything I say in this video, please take it very seriously so that you can implement all of this and know what you are doing. Now, if you want to travel to Poland and make four days, all right, know that you are going to be showing 300 Polish zloty times these four days. And if you multiply 300 Polish zloty according to the VFS Global, all right, of that particular country, okay you need 400 polish loyalty let's assume that maybe you are going as a tourist for four days or maybe you want to visit for four days you need 300 polish loyalty for four days and if you multiply this money that's 1200 loyalty and this 1200 loyalty um would be equivalent to 271 us dollars and 167 thousand all right that is for four days they are just assuming that you want to be in poland for four days now if you want to go to poland and stay more than four days which they are assuming that you are going with a long stay visa and as a student you need 75 polish loyalty all right for every day that you are going to spend in poland and 75 polish loyalty let's assume now this video is for students all right you as a student you need to multiply this money by 365 days 365 days times 75 zloty is going to give you 27,375 polis zloty. All right. This amount of money now to you, CFA France is like 3.8 million, like 3 million, uh, 819,000. All right. That is in terms of CFA France. Then you equally have like 6,184 US dollars and about 6,000 euros. Now, this is the money you need in order to apply for your study visa to Poland. 6,000 euros, 6,100 euros. But this is not a figure. I, I'm just want, trying to explain something to you here. Remember, you are looking for the right possibilities to let me convince the embassy or secure the visa. So you need to do things and do things above some certain limits in order to catch up. Now, that is the first option. Remember I said for you to prove that you have money in order to, to study in Poland, you need to show that you have money in a credit card. I already explained that. You need to show money in traveler's checks, all right? Or show the money in your own bank account. But I will not suggest you show that you are sponsoring yourself. Show that you have a sponsor, all right? Show a sponsor. And if you have a sponsor, let the sponsor give you his bank account. Then let the sponsor give you his pay slips, all right? These are some of the things that you should collect from the sponsor. Let the sponsor write you a sponsorship letter, all right? It is very important. Now, the sponsorship letter should be well detailed. Who is the sponsor? Why is he sponsoring you? And what is your relationship? Well detailed, then you take the sponsorship letter and notarize it at the public notary, all right? Make sure you have a sponsor. Please don't sponsor yourself take a sponsor now you notarize it at a public notary all right then if the money is in your sponsor's account you need his bank account as well and make sure please make sure this is what i wanted to say make sure that your sponsor have at least six million naira in the account and at least 6.5 to 7 million cfa francs in his or her account you can now convert this money Remember the first figures I talked about, I was talking about 6,184 US dollars and I equally talked about 6,000 euros. This money, remember you are going to a country which is not your country and the way Poland is now, you have to show a lot of money for them to allow you pass, all right? Because you are proving to them that you have money to take care of yourself. That is why I said, let your sponsor have at least 6 million in his or her bank account. Put a lot of money, pump money inside, all right? You are not just pumping on the same day. You are building the account. So before you apply for a Polish student visa, Nigerians know that you need 6 million. Let us all boil down on this particular figure, all right? It is very important. You need 6 million. Get the sponsor to put that money, all right? Then get his or her sponsorship letter. 
with everything detailed and of course you notarize it and carry it to the embassy on that day if you are using a credit card not all banks will give you credit card all right if you are using a credit card i already mentioned some of the banks that you can get credit cards from all right make sure the amount of money is nine million in that credit card at least nine million in the credit card if you want to put the credit card in your name let it be nine million all right but now since you are getting a sponsor try to get at least six million on his bank statement i hope we understand this now when for the credit card remember there is something called credit card certificates you need a credit card certificate as well in order to support your your visa application at the polish embassy for appointment issues i cannot say anything when it comes to appointments at the polish embassy because i know little or nothing about that all right it is only about the embassy who can grant you the only the embassy can grant you an appointment i hope you understand now i already talked about everything remember i will also like to draw your attention to the fact that if you are applying for a polish visa from turkey try to use insurance company like uh, uh, alliance insurance all right even if it is found in your home country try to use it if you have AXA insurance in your home country, try to use it, all right? There are so many other insurance companies, but I prefer these two. Go and get your insurance yourself. Don't send people and later on you cry, all right? Then again, I already spoke about the sponsorship letter, how it is notarized and everything. So this is how you are going to do about your proof of funds. This is the update on the proof of funds to study in Poland. I'm doing this video because very soon, most of you will be applying for uh, Polish student visas. So you will need this information in order to navigate. Contact your banks, all right, on time for your statements. Then contact the necessary people that are your sponsors. I hope you understand. So these are some of the things that you should know. Please do not forget that on this channel, we talk about immigration. We talk about everything travel abroad, all right? So please, admissions is open in Turkey, in Poland, in Austria, in Canada, all right? everybody should apply we must move abroad this year till we meet again in another video please do not forget on this channel i have a lot of videos so if you are asking me for a particular video it is easy for you to just go to youtube type my name and add the title of the video beside you are going to see the video pop up on your screens i hope you get it till we meet again in another one